all the light that there is. How about this? Hey, what is good, fam? Decided to go ahead and go live early. I was going to go live in like maybe 10 more minutes. But hey, I was excited. I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited that, I mean, I'm not excited that it's late. But hey, it is what it is. That's what it is when you're somewhere scary. I may show you around a little bit, but most importantly, while I explore in a little bit, I am going to leave this live stream probably up and running for a little while to see if y'all can catch any noises or anything like that. What's up, Nicole? Hey, Sharon. Hey, indoor Rap Raptor lover, Shannon, Techno Hearts, Rayanne, Pistol Pete, Sheila. What's up, Chantel? How you doing? Vodka, big shout out to you, man. You know I love you either way. Kiki, Charmaine, what's up? Oh, that's, um, is that Channing? Where? Oh, I thought I saw her here. Hey, uh, Chad, Max, Janine, Samantha. Appreciate y'all. I didn't I didn't think that anybody would be awake. I know it's late. It's 1124 where I'm at right now, which means back home in Florida. It's probably like, oh, yeah, it's like 1230 or whatever. Got a little brighter, which is good. Do I need some extra lighting? Let me see. Uh, I think this I think this light died. That's not good. That's not good. But hey, is there a charge for it? I got another light. Got another one. Let me see. Oh, oh. oh, oh. I see the light. All right. Oh, wait, the light. Does that look better? Maybe that looks a little bit better. Oh, what is up, Braxton? Just had a newborn, always awake. Hey, I understand that. What up, Phase Wolf? Tippy Wong. Hi, Omar. Hope you feel better from the kidney stones. Hey, I from what I know, I just had one. And it was probably the worst pain I ever had. I, yeah, it it's the worst pain I ever had in my entire life. And hey, David Thorpe, the correct your is Y O U R E. Just letting you know. Since you want to talk crap. Wait, who's talking <laughs> crap? <laughs> what up, Chantel? It's two twenty four in Victoria, Australia. Hey, wow! Well, appreciate you being here. Hey, Jody. Hey, Pam. Nicole. Alex. Mary. So hey. Let me know here in the comments if you can guess where I am at right now. This happens to be probably a place that I have been wanting to explore since I got into documenting like paranormal and going ghost hunting and exploring things like that. I mean, this is a I was supposed to come here a year ago. I had it all planned out and it didn't work out. So Queen Mary? No, it's not the Queen Mary. I've been to the Queen Mary like a dozen times. This is somewhere I've never, ever, ever been before, ever. Um, it's definitely creepy. It's not in upstate New York. No. Oh, somebody uh, said the Washoe Club. If you like the Washoe Club, be ready for next. My week. very next video is going to be the Washoe, the Washoe Club, and I got. It's probably the first time in a really long time. Actually, it's the first time ever that I've experienced anything ridiculously physical like i mean like i've i've you know i've gone through a couple physical things but this this one was uh like i i felt like something was really bullying me there while i was alone uh, what up celeste what are we doing so i'll get into that here in a second a stanley hotel no i'm not at the stanley hotel i've been there a couple times already i've never been to the place that i'm at right now so hey look you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a peek in the hallway and maybe if you've been here before look at this it is really creepy i hear people down the hall but i don't see people down the hall there's a mirror down the hall that they say that if you snap a picture things always appear which is insane and also, the floor that we're on right now, just a couple, I want to say, maybe doors down, there's a woman that appears if you're down on the, you know, because we're up high right now, but if you're down stairs and you snap a photo or a, a video or whatever, sometimes you'll see this woman dressed in white and she jumps over the balcony. Now, there's a balcony out front. 
right there. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll take y'all out there in a second. Yeah, but, we went out there because we heard like a whole like paranormal tour going on. So we go out there and we're listening, and they start pointing up to like right next to where we're standing, and they're yeah. like, "Yeah." Like, and that's where that's off. where I got the story because I didn't I didn't even know this. I've been doing research on this place for a couple years now. So okay, hey DJ and Max got it right. That's where we're at. We're at the Crescent Hotel. Oh, you snitched us out. I did, and yeah, we're in Arkansas. I've always wanted to come here. I've like I said, I've been planning on coming here for so, so long, and I just, I, I never get to make it out. Now, being that we were in Missouri recently, uh, and when we, when we went to Missouri last year, we were planning on coming here, but something happened. We had to get back home. So we figured, hey, let's go ahead and, and go right now and, and check out the Crescent Hotel and explore it, do an overnight video. We came really late. Like, we just got here, like, at maybe 10 10 p.m. or whatever but this place definitely has a weird vibe to it it's i mean from the moment you walk inside the hotel it's it's a it's a mysterious kind of vibe like i, I mean i don't think it's anything demonic but i mean it's i know that the room that we are above well the, yeah the room beneath us yeah. so we're directly on top of the most haunted room I did request to be in the most haunted room, and I was like, hey, the second best thing would be being on top of it, and hey, maybe we could summon the spirit that's down there. But His name is Michael. Supposedly, he is a, he's a bit of a prankster, and he likes to do a lot of crazy things, pull your sheets, and in the middle of the night, whoa, maybe. Whoa, what? Yeah. I didn't know that. Turn lights on and off, a lot of crazy stuff. But um, uh, you in Cali? No, I am not in Cali. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate the super chat, and thank you, Pam, for the well wishes good to see you feeling better hey i'll tell you what from uh when i had the kidney stone a couple days ago <laughs> uh i i mean as soon as it passed like i it and they gave me morphine of course or the pain whatever painkiller they gave me like i was i was normal and what's crazy is i was perfectly normal i mean i if you watch yeah if you watch my last video that i uploaded on this channel you could see me i'm 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 fine. I wake up in the morning. I'm playing with the dogs, talking. I'm vlogging. I'm at my computer. And when I sat down to do a little bit of video editing, that's when it hit me. I got like this sharp pain in my back and I adjusted myself. I thought, you know, because I'm no stranger to back pain being a hairdresser. And I figured I was just having some back pain. So I kind of adjusted myself and just moved around a little bit. And then I even had Tiffany. I was like, man, my back's really hurting. Tiffany, can you like rub it? And she starts rubbing my back. And then all of a sudden, it's like it was within 20 minutes, it, within 20 minutes. I'm like, oh, like it was just getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, I, man, I don't wish that pain upon anybody that's watching this video right now, because it is it is life changing. Like I have so much respect for anybody that's ever had to go through uh, birth, which some people have compared the pains, I guess, to birth pains. But then. I've talked to some women that have had kidney stones and have bared many children. And they told me that they would much rather bear children than go through like a kidney stone. So it must be, I guess, you know, pain's different for everybody. Then I, I my friend Rich had kidney stones and he was like, eh, I'm, I'm okay. It's fine. I'm like, bro, I thought I was going to die. Like legit <laughs> thought I was going to die. Like we called an ambulance. I was in the back of an ambulance. Okay. Somebody said it's worse than childbirth. I agree. Debbie. That's not, okay. But you've never had it. You can't say. I also had a childbirth for 36 hours with no epidural and felt my whole C-section get covered. Good for you. So I will take a stone, mister. Don't stop, say that. Stop Don't. trying to downsize Be careful. Birth. Be careful what you have. I'm not trying. To, I have so much respect for women downsizing that, don't, that don't get the epidural. I mean, even women that do the epidural thing. Like, mm -hmm. it's it, it's painful. You try to push a baby out of that. I like I watched okay. Melissa. She, she when she was having her contractions, like they were very painful. So, hey, thank you so much, uh, Debbie. Much love from North Carolina. Love you too. Ghostly travels with Zach. That's my bro right there. He's got a lit. Um, he has a YouTube channel too, but he does have a TikTok and he goes live a lot. Goes to a lot of cool haunted places. I met him and did a video of him once. Uh, Charles, thank you for that. Hey, Omar and Tiff, love you too. May you be blessed always, and you too, my bro. Kyle Cripper Vlogs, <laughs> Amy with the laughing uh, emoji there. What up, Alyssa Elameo? Hey, you tell him, girl. What oh, and everybody that thinks that um, he's already done all his locations for his own series. Yeah. Because yeah, some I'm, people think that 
you're still doing your loan series. Well, somebody saw Tiffany like in you know in a vlog, and they're like, "I thought you were alone." I'm like, "Bro, I already filmed my like." Even like TV, TV, like in, in movies and stuff. I'm not trying to compare myself, but maybe uh, some because some people get like I think they they forget like all the behind the scenes. Like I put a lot of work into my videos, a lot of planning, a lot of preparation, a lot of traveling, a lot of editing. I mean, I, I even have one other person giving me a hand with some of the editing. So, I mean, it's not just a one man operation, but most of the work I do on my own. Whenever you uh, fast forward to the end of like a show, your favorite show that's pretty awesome, even some of the ghost shows that you see on TV, there's like 150 people involved. Me, I'm solo. I'm one with maybe just one other guy helping me edit sometimes, my friend Gene. But what I'm trying to say is I get my videos out pretty damn quick considering all the travel that we do. And then, but it, it doesn't happen. Like videos do not edit themselves like this one, like the live stream, like it's uh, live stream is different than you know, a fully edited video where there's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of research that goes involved. So, you know, I know some people don't understand the behind the scenes when it comes to that. And I try to explain it. So then maybe you do understand because your boy be putting a lot of work in, man, not just me too, but a lot of creators and a lot of people that are here in the comments too. My boy, Zach, that's here in the comments. He'd be putting a lot of work. Uh, that's what's up. Uh, Zach, for sure. Homie, thank you again for the super chat. Uh, Thumbs up. Thank you, Calm Blondie. So, hey, let's talk about what we're going to do here in a second. We are at the Crescent Hotel. If you're just joining us, we have a, a king suite, and we're above one of the most haunted rooms right now. I did try to get that room. Uh, here's a picture. of it. Everything is so, like, Queen and Victorian. If you don't know anything about Eureka Springs, the town that we're in right now, it is like when you like drive around Eureka Springs, it's creepy. Like there's a lot of old like historical homes. I mean, really cool looking homes. One of some of my favorite homes are here, but they say this entire town is haunted. Uh, be, like even dating back. That was a knock. Did somebody knock on the door? You looked over there. I heard it over here. I heard some here. I heard it here. Okay, well, anyways, the whole town of Eureka Springs is haunted, uh, prehistoric haunts from what they say, too. And a lot of people came to this area originally for the healing waters, the Ozark waters of Eureka Springs. It would take pain away when you go in these waters. It would heal people from certain ailments. So there was a lot of significance to this area and why it was founded in the 1800s. Well, you know, but not you know, developed into like a little city. But anyways, uh, this hotel has a lot of history it used to be a, a girl's school at one point was it even a hospital i haven't got that deep into my research yeah because you're going to do like a sit down story time over time yes this, right yeah well i mean not on this video yeah not but, this one but when you put the video up right yeah. yeah now one of my favorite haunts about this place too is a cat named morris there's a little orange cat and there's pictures of him downstairs maybe i'll take you down there in a little bit but there's a little orange cat that He's he's considered a ghostly cat. Now they have an actual cat named Jasper. I wonder if Morris was Morris like a like a Jasper in its time. Mm -hmm. So they have like a mascot here, and his name is uh, Jasper, and he's a no, he's a live cat, okay, and a live cat, and he's black and white, really cute mm -hmm. cat. He's kind of fuzzy, and but anyways, his uh, he was probably the replacement, or, or maybe maybe there's a couple other cats. I don't know the history too much, but I know that this ghostly cat will jump on your lap sometimes when you're chilling. He'll rub up, you know, when you're sitting down and a cat rubs up on your leg. Now, this cat that's here does not do anything like that. Completely different character than Morris. So that's why, like, people will be like, oh, well, maybe it's the cat that's, you know, actually here at the Crescent Hotel. And it's not. It's not that cat. You but, can tell them what we're going to do? Yes. So I'm going to go exploring here in a little bit. We brought our cameras and what I'm going to do, we're going to, we did this before at the Magruder. Yeah. Magruder. How do you say that? Yeah, it was a Magruder Civil War like, era. Was it a hospital no, before? It was. Um, it was the grounds, the battlefield. It was the grounds of the battlefield. Okay. So, yeah, we, th there was a hotel built on this like battlefield and it's super haunted. It's in Virginia. Super cool place. But what we did there a couple years back, Tiffany and I, is we left 
the live stream in the hotel going while we went and explored for like an hour or so. And people were freaking out because you could hear little sounds and people were saying that maybe the, I guess the sink was turning off. Like, said it looked like somebody sat on the bed, like the bed like went down and like one of the pillows was like moving or something. I'm wondering though, because I want y'all to see that I left the room and I'm not BSing you because. What if we were to close the bathroom? So this is the bathroom. Yeah. And we set it like right there because that can get like the whole room. Okay, like maybe like right, right there. I don't know. Um, well, we want to be able to get the bed and like, what if you sat it on top of this? On top of the. Yeah. The ice machine or the ice little that way you get, like, everything. Bam. Okay. All right. Now there is there's a balcony out here. And oh wow. Thank you so much. Brandy Animal Lover. Omar, I am so glad to see you. I was looking all day having DT what's DTS? DTS? Yeah. I don't know what that means, but thank you so much for that very generous super chat. You totally didn't have to do that. You know, I love you guys either way. Any any more alone videos coming in the near future? Yes, I have one coming Saturday at the Washoe Club. I did nine videos. So and we're already number three. Yeah, we're we have number th there's three, one, two, and three. This Saturday will be episode four. So yeah, they're they're gonna be stretching all into August. Once I get home and I have some faster internet, I'll be able to put out some more videos because I do have a like a backlog of some other videos that I filmed and some new ones that I'm doing too. too. Almost made him stop doing paranormal on YouTube. The Watch Show Club. Yeah. 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 When I went here, I was like, nah, I'm not doing this anymore, especially alone. But I do want to show this out here. I'm not going to lie. The internet is not the greatest. Like I... What? I don't know. I heard something. Was like a cough? Maybe. I'm gonna show you the balcony though. Make sure, I'm gonna watch that. Make sure the internet's still good. Like, you move that. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. It's pretty gnarly here. Oh. I'm gonna lock this up, and I'm gonna show you that I lock it up, so you don't see that I'm like, you know, sneaking into the room and making noises and stuff yes, like that. She was right. It, 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 she said that, and it just reminded me. Well, it was a hospital, and there was a, a doctor here who, like, was conning people into thinking. Oh, that the cancer! Yeah. The cancer. There was. Sorry. There was a. I forgot all about that, but there was a doctor like injecting people with stuff and telling them that this is the cure to cancer, and people were dying. It was terrible. It was a horse team reader? <laughs> Which actually works. Uh, oh. I mean, sometimes. What? Don't go pimping that. No, I mean it works on other things. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thomas Crawl, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. And Vicky, hey Omar, love your videos. Much love. Thank you. Um, 360 camera live stream would be dope. I have done that before, but the quality isn't the greatest on those. Hey, I'm gonna take you outside. So it's so quiet. It's weird that these balconies are open to the other rooms. So right over there where that light is on, people have witnessed a woman dressed in all white and they have captured her on pictures. I would love to go online and see if I could maybe get one of those pictures, but they say that she'll fall over, like fall over the balcony and they'll witness her actually falling. And as soon as she hits the ground, like it's just like a mist appears and then they look back up and then there's a man standing on that balcony you want to go over there i know but i'm just gonna i'm gonna take a peek i'm just gonna be right here this is the i guess the backyard of the crescent and there's a pool this place is beautiful I'll tell you what and it's at the top of a mountain uh, anyways it's really dark over there yeah i've always wanted to come here so excited right, i want to show you then i'm going to lock this door right? Oh, 
Okay. He lost his fiance when he told Santa. What? Terrible. Alright. Okay. When we leave, we're gonna leave some of these little cat balls out too, right? Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. So I have these little like I don't I don't know what to call them anymore. Just call them cat Ghost cats. balls. But ghost cats. balls? You'd like to touch my ghost balls? My bolas. What up, Pickle Slayer O'Sullivan Fishing? Hey, Susie. Oh, it's been. It ha it has to be between 10 30, 11 30, where they said you might actually see. Okay, yes, because we were outside. I think Tiffany snapped a photo during that time, but she didn't really catch anything of the the woman that that we were just talking about that's been seen in white. But there's so many like ghostly tales. Um, I wrote a bunch of stuff down. So I may do a live stream. I have my other live streaming equipment. Like right now I'm live streaming from my laptop. Okay. Let me know how the quality looks because looks I'm, good. I'm actually using my, like my own internet because I cannot connect to their internet. Like their internet is, uh, uh, I mean, Hey, you don't come to a historic haunted hotel like this for the Wi-Fi or the internet. You come here for the experience, for the ghosts, for the history, so it was a good thing. I do have some internet because I did want to share this awesome place with you. And by the way, I have an awesome vlog that I'm going to be releasing. I just haven't been able to edit it. It's like an hour long. And it kind of talks about my experience with uh, kidney stones and like what may have caused it. Because a lot of people have been reaching out like, hey, Omar, you should drink more water. Hey, I'm always drinking water from time. Maybe like once a month I may have a soda. I don't even drink tea. I don't I don't drink coffee very much. Maybe once in a blue moon. I can even drink like I usually drink decaf if I do. That's a joke. Now they're they're kind of leaning towards it could be from my vitamin intake because I am a vitamin freak. And I guess excessive vitamins could lead to kidney stones. So first, those of you out there that are like me and you're like really into your vitamins and you like take a vitamin for everything that you're afraid of getting. Please be mindful because especially vitamin C and vitamin D, which I was, I guess, deficient in. So I've been loading up on vitamin D. It says my connection's unstable. Oh, no. What? Let me see if you're still there. Here, let me put this over here. Pot of window. Yeah. All right. I think there's better internet now. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're good. All right. Hey, Ellie Ray, cranberry juice. So, yeah, like all that stuff's really good, but I don't, I'm not a soda drinker. Like, if uh, there, sometimes I think even some people have said that that could be, I mean, not that it's a myth, but um, I don't know. It's kidney the caramel colors. Kidney stones are hereditary too. And like I did some research, and I guess my grandma had kidney stones, my uncle had kidney stones. So it's something that may run in my family. So, yeah, I just got a, oh, God, that, it felt like my insides were being ripped out. It was terrible. Omar, I was a nurse, and I had a tumor on my adrenal gland. And by the time they found it, I am disabled. Thank you so much for help, help me. Brandy, hey, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, big shout out to my homie Brandy here. Much love, prayers for her. She used to be a nurse and and she's she's disabled. You know, hey, that's a it's very unfortunate. But some people they you know they use their disabilities to help others too. You know what I mean? Like um our friend Justin, 22 Q. Mm -hmm. You know, he talks about his disability, like he, he it's like it's not like he's disabled, like he's able. You know what I mean? So I forgot. It's late, so I can't say that correctly exactly how they say it. But um, maybe you can help me here in the comments. Uh, love you guys. Love you too. What up? Get swamp. That's my bro right there. Jamie Gomez. Some green vegetables can give you kidney stones too. See, check that out. So many different things that can give you kidney stones. I'm flo fo following you on TikTok. Hey, that's what's up. Hey, I've been uploading a lot of videos on TikTok. What is that? That's me. I'm just checking this light out. Okay. It works? Yeah. Angie the fam. Thank you for giving Brandy love there. What's up, Lisa's life? I put balls. 
on the bed. And okay, where are they at? Well, this one doesn't work very well. You have to like beat it to get it to work. Well, some of them. But that one doesn't work at all. So this one? one, the one in there, or this one. See, this one's good. Okay. Maybe the batteries were loose. But this one, you have to like. I'm gonna give you that. What are those batteries for the the cardboard box? I'm gonna give it to you when you put it in your bag. Okay. See, it works good when you do that. How's the battery on this? I don't know. Oh, on that? It's fine. I think. Hey, did you just turn it no, on? No, that just, that just started. I mean, it could have been from the box. There, I don't know. How did that one even work? It wasn't even working. I put in this here. If this thing goes off, that means somebody really beat it. That's not working very well. Okay. So, like promised, we are going to go, we're going to step out. Wait, can you see the... Yeah. You can see the balls. So, there's there's a cat ball right Lighter. there. Right there. Hey, ghosts. Hey, I, this happens to be, I'm telling you, like, ghost hunters did an episode here, and they called this, uh, it was like a paranormal playground or they something like that. They called this place the most haunted hotel in America. Most haunted hotel in America. And I, I'll tell you what, I thought that I've been in some really haunted spooky hotel. I mean, the Queen Mary being one of them. And this, this place looks cool. It looks cool. And it kind of gives off like Stanley hotel vibes, but I think this one's cool. More hotel. Gothic, like steampunk. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's creepy. So I'm going to probably head out for a little bit. I'm going to leave y'all in here with the ghost alone. Feel free to comment. Feel free to ask questions for the ghost balls to go off. Should, oh, what? I got an idea. Oh God! What? I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have the spirit box. No, yeah. because that sometimes oh. goes off and you can't hear what else is going around. Let me know here in the comments. Do you want me to have the spirit box playing in the background? And You're not oh gonna my God, what? we have 1,700 people here and 900 likes. Big shout out to the 900 people that smashed that like button, but not a big shout out to everybody that's here that is very reluctant to just doing this right here. I mean, that's like, I don't need donations. And, you know, I just, I mean, you know, let your boy Omar, like, I, you know, I spent a lot of money on this trip and to be here in this really cool hotel to film a video. Least you could do is smash that like button. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. I see y'all, man. But come on, man. Don't forget. I'm one of those YouTubers that, like, I'll go on every video, even if it's a video I'm not that great, greatly fond of. And I'll hit that like button just to let people know, like, hey, you know, you're doing a good job, man. Like, kudos to you. Here's a like. But anyways, <laughs> I'm just busting your I'm just busting your balls here for a minute. But I appreciate that. Thank you. But don't forget, come on, man. Let your boy Omar know. And not just me, but all the other creators. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel encouraged when we get some good engagement. We get comments. The comments are the best, of course. But seeing them likes, it, it brings smiles. Each like equals a smile. <gasps> no, each like equals a kiss to the ghosts here at the Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs. So, yes, leave the spirit box. Okay, people are saying leave the spirit box on. But if you leave it, like, you're not going to be able to hear anything else going on if there's anything that happens behind it. True, true, because it may catch some noises. And what if you need to use the spirit box when you're doing a video? Okay. So you don't think about I'm going to have the ghost balls in the background. And you, you know what? Feel free in the comments to ask the ghost balls to go off. Maybe and a EVP will come through bro, the, the computer. I'm getting touched on my on my side right here. I feel like my boogie was earlier. There's <laughs> there's something to that. I'm telling you, I read something about like people's backsides being touched. And you know what? Let me see if I can find it real quick. I might have wrote it down. It's it was like towards the end. It's hot in here. It is so hot in here. But it's also good that it's not on. So that way you can hear more too. And not get it mistaken for the air conditioner. Um, the girl in the miscellane in the miss. He, I tried to use my scan tool on a book earlier that I was reading, and it didn't scan everything correctly. Um, I'm telling you, there's something here. 
In the hallway, a nurse pushing a gurney that resided in Dr. Baker's morgue has been seen guiding the squeaky, rattling gurney down the halls of the hotel. That sounds terrifying. A ghostly waiter has been seen in the hallway carrying a tray of butter. Butter? Who orders butter? Oh, look, and this is the lady in white. The lady in white is seen wearing a flowing white gown at about four feet tall. She floats through the gardens and perches on balconies. And that's the balcony that I just showed y'all. We should just go, a second we should ago. Go down in the gardens too. I'm trying to find something about the. I, I'm telling you, I read it. It was something about people's butts being pinched and stuff. So and earlier it, we were standing out on the balcony, and my butt was like on like my right butt cheek. She looked like, at me. She thought I like grabbed her butt or pinched her butt. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I do sometimes, but like not this time. Hey Mo. Mo's here. Mo's in there, and he what got a check mark, so it's the official Mo. Oh, why? Where are y'all at? We're at the Crescent Hotel. In Arkansas. In Arkansas. This is a really cool place, man. I want to bring you here. It's like, I can't say it's like the Stanley because each place, but it's it has that, like the, I don't know, it reminds me a lot of the Stanley, like the, the squeaky floors. And you know what? There was a place that Mo and I went to that this reminds me of a lot. The, it starts with a C. It was in San Diego. Oh, the um Cosmopolitan. No, not the Cosmopolitan. Was it? Oh, no. the, the. The, you went there. It was on the beach. Yeah. The place on the beach that Mo and I went to. This reminds me a lot of that place. Uh, ah, gosh. It was right on the ocean. Yeah, it's it's really popular. Started with too. a C. Let me see. Anywho. Um, what's your favorite place you went to? Uh, uh, I, I have to say Queen Mary is probably hands down like my favorite place. But the, the Coronado. Yeah. The Coronado. Coronado. There it is right there. The Coronado. And thank you, Lynn. Much love and respect. Love you guys. Hey, we love you too. Uh, yes, it was the Coronado Hotel. This reminds me a lot of that place, but more so the Stanley in its own way. Like the corners of the hotel have these stairways and the stairways are, they're pretty creepy. And, uh, but like the colors here, like they're magnificent. It smells like fresh paint. You know, it's, it's really strange. But anyways, I'm going to run maybe for like 20, 30 minutes. I'll be back. Depending on how many people are still here smashing that like button. I got, look, I got my equipment. This is my my main brains right here to being able to live stream from my good cameras. And I think I probably can do that if I have a good enough stream. I have three modems hooked up to that device that allows me to live stream in super high definition quality. And it almost looks like an uncut video. If, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a chance I may go live a little bit. It'll be a lot later. Um, I don't know. You have to let me know that you want to see something like that too. And it may be on my live channel when I do that. So make sure you're subscribed there. So I'll be back. All right. Talk to the cat balls. <laughs> <laughs> You want right. to get everything off the bed just to pop it. Like, Should we turn the lights off? No, so you can see. Look, wow. come stay. I don't know what is that. Hmm. I was. It looked like somebody was standing there, but it's the towel in there. Can you see that? Scary. Can you see the cat balls? Here, back up. Let me see. Like that. Move back so I can see. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Hey, Michael, can you make one of those ghost balls go off? We heard you like to play pranks on guests here. Come touch my balls. What? They're my balls. I have three balls, and they light up. They get really excited when you touch them. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> so extra. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this light with me i feel like that's the only one that works really well because these two are like so no uh, um are there any more batteries in here that we need to take with us no i got some in my pocket you got one for mine too yeah just when it starts getting low so i right, got should I wear my Invisaligns? They make me stutter. Oh, 
Good night, Sam. Good night, Sam. I could tell when I'm wearing these in a video because I talk like this. But I need to wear them. I should take them out, huh? No, you're fine. I sound all right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. Y'all okay. have fun in here with the ghosts. Wait, you have your key? It's going to be kind of boring, okay? If you're in the ghost hunt, you know, sometimes it could be a little boring. It's like fishing. So what I'm going to ask you to do is fish. Fish in here for some ghosts for me. And maybe y'all can catch it. I'm going to clean the screen here. I mean, when we did it last time, people really loved it. Yeah, okay. All right, much better. Took the smudges away. All right, beautiful. All right. Let me know if you hear any noises, okay? It's pretty late. Everybody should be sleeping in the hotel. So, all right. See what happens. All right, we're out of here. Got the key? Mm -hmm. I left one key there. So you have the other one up? Yeah. All right, ghost balls. Make sure you turn on for, for the ghosts, okay? Hopefully you got a good enough battery. Ghosts, put on a good show for my fan watching right now. Say hello. Am I looking for
Yeah, it's good. Take care. Uh, smells like pizza in here. We back, fam. We back. Let me turn this light on. Is this light even working? Do you have the light? Yeah. Okay, the talking that y'all were hearing outside wasn't ghosts. It was us. But I don't know if y'all were probably uh, hearing some stuff before. We were down in the basement, and we, we started videoing down there, and then, like, some young girls ended up downstairs and we were like, oh man. So we kind of let them hang out and chill. But hey, big shout out to everybody that smashed that like button. That's what's up. What's up, Rena? What's up, Mark? Hey, Janet. Hey, Strawberry. Sarah loves exploring. Uh, so wait, breathing. So you heard breathing. Yeah. Let me know what y'all heard. What up, Marita? What's up, Maria? What's up, Jake? Uh, wow, it's hard to see y'all's comments. Scott, Ava. Elizabeth, uh, we got uh, Emily. Can you read that? It's going way too. I can't see. Anything. I got it on slow mode too. That's on slow mo. Linda, yeah, that's on oh. slow slow mode. We're waiting for people to kind of like clear yeah. the hallway so we can go back out and. Like it's one a.m. right now, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of wait 
like a little bit longer. But a security guard. We met a security guard who oh, was so yeah. awesome. And he gave us like some like inside stuff and he gave us access to stuff that we're Davis, allowed to go to you. later. It's so cool. He told us so many stuff. I'm going to see if I can find that. Picture. He was sharing some really cool pictures with us. So there's a Facebook page for the Crescent. And I, I guess you have to be accepted into it. So we're waiting uh, yeah, until the see some pictures. You can? Yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to. There's this picture. I mean, pictures that people took like during the day. Oh, I'm in. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh gosh. Like there was this one picture, it like freaked me out. Like the like the woman's face looked disfigured. It was it was crazy. Do a spare box in the room. You know what? Before I end this live stream, I will do something like that. I think that'd be fun. Because we uh we need to kind of kill some time anyways. Or it's not like we're able to film anything right now. Like everything is like there's some people walking around and you know, we want to capture like some legit oh here's this picture. real stuff, you know. So this was taken. Okay, that's it right that's there. That's one. Well I wanna well, I'm gonna show the kid one in a minute. No, I wanna show the, the what the um like what the girl looked like what that one was in the background. Where's the actual picture where she's like taking a selfie? There it is. Okay, so look at this picture right here. This was taken during the day, and you see where that circle is. There's like a girl in the, like that is the dining room. Now we just went to that dining room and we can actually go in there. I, you know what? We should, there was nobody in there. We could probably film in there. So, oh yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. So let me show you what that looks like. Now there, there is what they caught. Like look at that woman's face. And there was nobody in there. There was nobody in there. Like that is so creepy. So this is something that I will be showing in the video. Out. I want to like zoom into that. Look at that. Like there was nobody there. That was taken during the day. And then the one with the, the kids oh, yeah. trick-or-treating. That's the that was pretty creepy side. too. Oh, what up, Kelly? What's up, Sarah? Thank you. A Alan Allen. Um, uh, stack pack. Hey, thank you. Glad you're doing better, bro. Much love to you. And and Tiff. I think that's what he meant. It said Steph, but uh WTF Barb said, Yeah, that was scary, right? But thank you for being a member of ours stack pack appreciate that so much madison can't believe you are in arkansas this is my first time in arkansas I've, I, maybe i've driven through here but no I've, yeah i don't think i've ever really got to explore arkansas we're going to be here a couple of days yeah it's pretty creepy so women's voices in our room now yeah here's the thing there's not a lot of people like here but like when we were exploring down in the basement stuff, a few people showed up and we're like, eh, you know, we want we want it to just be like, we want to know that we're alone and we're not capturing like human voices if we capture a voice or anything like that. So we just, that's kind of why we came back. Um, heard some tapping. Okay. Oh, look at this picture. I don't know. That's just weird. Okay. I don't know if that's a person or not, but I'm still looking for that one picture. Yeah, that was on the balcony right there on, I don't know what balcony that was on. Did anybody see the cat balls? Were they lighting up at all? Like, I'm really curious. And thank you, Barb, for becoming a member. Michelle Smith, thank you for the super chat. You rock, fam. Go check your bathroom, Alan said. Let's go check the bathroom. I'm really curious. Some people said that there was some noises coming from the bathroom. Don't see anything in here. It was a nice bathroom, pretty fancy. So, hey, thank you, Cole. Light up. Okay, so they didn't light up. I almost feel like they light up better when they're like all together. So let's get these guys. Let's ask some questions here. Oh, all righty. Okay. Mr. Michael, we're right above your room. Now, this guy, Michael, supposedly he was working on the roof or something and he fell to his death. And they say that he haunts that room that we're above. Right now, it happens to be the most haunted room, most requested room here at the Crescent. And yeah, we weren't able to, you know, go down in that room. Hopefully, maybe in the morning, maybe the guests will check out. Maybe they'll leave the door unlocked. Maybe while the Maid is clean. What are the, or the housekeeper is cleaning. We could like take a peek at there. You found the picture. Yeah. Okay, so this is the picture of the lady who does the the ghost tour. Oh, let me see. So she does the ghost tour, 
And this is a little boy that's doing his grandmother was taking a picture of him. They were so trick or treating. She got it. It was just them up there. She walked, she looked, this little girl was is not, not there. That is not there. And she has no feet. <laughs> yeah. So when she looked at the picture, she walked up to the lady and was like, Whoa, where did this little girl come from? Yeah, and that little girl was not there. No little, and creepy. She Diana, happy early birthday to you. Thank you for the super chat. Love from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Hey, that's what's up, Ellen. But yeah, that little girl. So it's crazy. If you look real close to that little girl, she is, she doesn't have any hair. And there was some tales here about like, you know, the cancer patients. Was she like, is she like a ghost of a girl that maybe was here for so there's that cancer picture, treatments? And you see her, right? The very next picture. Yeah, she's, she's not gone. even on the stairs. Yeah. Like there was, yeah. Cause she looked and she was like, what is this? Like, who is that? I think I caught something. That's pretty awesome. That's so cool. What a wacky witch. How you doing? I have a Dorito taco from Taco Bell. You want a bite? Somebody said they heard bells while we were gone. Bells? Yeah. So, yeah, that little girl picture that we just shared with you right now, that was taken. I'm going to show you where that was taken. Hopefully, I still got internet. want to show you it was taken where this it was taken right down this hall right over there so the woman was standing right there when she snapped the photo and the stairway is right to the right so yeah pretty creepy stuff i almost want to leave the door open i'm gonna go down there and take pictures in front of here wait hold on you know what, what? i'm gonna um, I'm going to bring this with us. This is how I'm hooked up to the internet right now. It looks so weird. I look weird? Why? I'll just leave the door cracked. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to this mirror. Wait, are you going to go to the mirror? That's what I said I was doing. I don't know what you mean, but I, I, I said was I was going to go going. to the stairway. I'll follow you to the mirror, okay. and I'll go to the stairway after. Was it that stairway or this stairway? No, there's a stairway. Right over there. There's two stairways? Yeah. I thought it was at this stairway. No. Where the picture was taken? Yeah. That was that. Wait a minute. It's right here. Right here. Well, where was the picture taken? I thought it was. Yeah, it was right here. No. No, because the. It's right here. It was right here. Okay, so here. I was wrong. I was wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, let me just find the picture and see what that picture is in the background. That's the TV, I think. Oh, Jesus, shit. Um, let's see the picture. Okay, no, it's not this one. So it's the picture. It's the stairwell that has this picture. That's over there, then. Okay. Well, I, mean, I want to go back to this mirror. But this looks... looks it's almost similar. identical, but it's the different picture. Dude, the floors. I mean, this place was built in 1886. Like, it's very low. They didn't have levels back in the day. I mean, they just kind of eye-leveled things. But, I mean, look, just you can kind of see how there's a hump in the floor. This place totally has Stanley Stanley Hotel vibes. If you're into the Stanley Hotel, try to be quiet. Sorry. But this mirror. You just got my picture. Oh, I got in your picture? But I, I want to. Okay. All right, Tiffany's taking some pictures. Okay, right there. All right, this mirror, many people have claimed to catch things when they take photos in this mirror that are very unexplainable. This is an entrance to a suite. Whoa. Let me sit down. Huh? Let me sit down and take a picture. So I'm not standing. Sit with you. Oh. So we're gonna stand here in front of the mirror, take some photos. You can see the laptop in the background. 
I'm gonna flip my camera behind this. Sometimes people will catch stuff like an extra person in the mirror through the picture. And if y'all know me, y'all know I love taking pictures. Dogs have a door. Oh, no, it's the wall. Smile, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Omar from Ormond Beach, Florida. Hey, that's what's up, man. Why do you think you got beat up? I look like I got beat up. Oh, wow, it looks like I got a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Hey, Solita, that's my homie right there. Thank you for that very generous super chat. Uh, Bobby Brum said, you need to come to New Bedford, Massachusetts. We have two very haunted places there. Fort Rodman and Orpheum Theater Fort is very haunted. I've seen it myself. Crazy. Uh, we were talking with somebody a little bit ago, and they said they mentioned some place in Kansas that was really cool. What was the name of it? It was not the Sally Owls, but it was in. I forgot the Durham? name. No. Denton? Den or Dur was it Durham? Something like that. It started with a D. But hey, thank you, Keisha, for it. That's awesome. I love the little doggy sticker. Stephanie Clark, how you doing? Thank you, Scott. Hey, Omar, where is the most haunted place you ever been? Oh, that's a that's a tough one for me right there. I'd have to say the Washoe Club, which is the next video I'm pumping out on Saturday. Saturday, hopefully I can get it out Saturday if I have good internet. So Elton and friends got to investigate Ed Lorraine. Yes, I heard about that, Leanne. I saw it on Instagram. Um, there is a rat in your room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, know. it's an old place. I mean, it's possible. Omar, hey, when are you guys coming to New Orleans? Um, I don't know. Is there anything cool to explore in New Orleans? Last time I was in New Orleans, I only got to make like maybe one cool video there. So. Yeah, let me know, because I would love to explore some cool new places that I haven't explored yet. Brandy Animal Lover. Hey, Omar, are you OK? You seem you seem to have pain. No, I don't have any pain. I'm doing OK. I am a little tired because uh, we're on a kind of a time change right now. It's what, 225 in Florida right now. So it's, I mean, not much of a time change, but yeah, I'm just kind of tired and we're having to wait even later to make sure that there's nobody walking around that way we can you know actually capture uh, stuff you know what i mean chantel hey omar the ghost ate all your pizza <laughs> uh, are you gonna hit up new mexico no unfortunately not hi omar from the darkest part from the darkest part of your closet are you coming to colorado no or canada are you ever coming to Canada? I've been to Canada several times, but no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come to Canada on this trip. Um, hi, Omar and Tiff. We are huge fans here from Quebec. God bless you, bro. May God bless the spirit of this room. Hey, thank you, Titanic Black Star <laughs> Live Channel. What? You just scared me. I did. <laughs> oh, <laughs> picture. <laughs> like, what is that? It's a ghost. <laughs> it's an Omar. It's an Omar ghost. That's so funny. Uh, thank you, Voice with Love Vlog. Uh, come and explore the UK. Eventually, eventually. Hey, thank you, Tanya. I have been there on vacation. This place is cool. It's got to be uh, yeah, up there with probably one of the most coolest historical hotels I've ever visited. But we're still we're still exploring. We got a lot. Got a lot to do still. So have watched your videos for four years. Hey, thank you, Linda. I do remember your name too. I don't forget uh, people that have been on like for years. I, I usually remember a lot of names and I remember yours. When are you coming to Brazil? I would love to come to Brazil, but yeah, I don't have it in my plans yet. Bunny Man Bridge, Jamie said. Never heard of the Bunny Man Bridge. That sounds really cool. Come back to Mansfield, Missouri. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be going back to Missouri. Missouri is one of our favorite states, though. Love it. Have you ever have you been to Oklahoma? I was in Oklahoma yesterday and I did a video 
uh, for TikTok. So be sure to go on my TikTok. I did release the video on my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, TV was like a short and it was in Oklahoma. Um, but it it got kind of like, I don't know, it just maybe because it wasn't a scary video. It was more about like what happened to this town. It was creepy. Like everybody left this town. The name of the town is called Pitcher. And it's the most toxic town. Like everybody left this town that we're all bought out. Put that video out just i mean version i am going to be really in depth like historical video on picture oklahoma but i have a lot of editing to do okay check out this staircase this is the staircase i thought that picture that i showed you of the little girl here and she caught the little girl going down the stairs right there and that's where the little boy was that was an 